Hello, Hello Floss Tube. Tube. We're, We're the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. I'm Priscilla. And I'm Chelsea. Piper's on the table. This lighting is drowning me out. Presley is licking Eating the table. The table. <laughs> we haven't seen the sun in three it years. It was sunny yesterday. And we're here to talk to you about our stitching this week. It was sunny in my house. No, the smoke or whatever makes it so hazy. It's like this all day at my house. Oh. Oh, there's a new one. Um, we hope that you had a great week. That's weird. Weekend. Why, why can we see that all of a sudden? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I don't think they moved their deck, so I just maybe they built a new one. I don't know. <laughs> um, we appreciate you being here. Uh, wait. So this week we had uh, Hunter and Destiny's housewarming party. Of course, it hadn't rained for a, a month straight, and then that day it rained. But they came through with tents and everything else. Mm -hmm. We finally got some rain. It rained for. Maybe two days. Or was Hunter it smoked a pork butt. It was really good. Is that what it was? Yeah. Pork butt? Yep. It two was really good. pork butts, I thought. I made those um, gray stuff cupcakes. Mm -hmm. They were so good. They were, my frosting was a little bit uh, messy this time, but it was still good. I mean, they tasted just the same. Didn't t eat, try to eat two of them. And tomorrow they're going to get a new Corgi. <laughs> a third. Mm -hmm. She's white. She has two different color eyes. Super One of them is blue. Super cute. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll see that on the Instagram, mm -hmm. I'm sure. Lots of stitching. We're getting ready to go to a retreat next week. So we've got to get mm -hmm. our work done before we go. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to see you guys in Indiana. Yes. Um, okay, so last week we had some questions. Tiffany, I just watched your stitch in hand video on Fair Quarter Shop. I would love to try it, but I have naturally oily, sweaty hands. I'm worried I will ruin my project. Any tips? I feel like I do too, but I wash my hands and I, I don't dirt use, hands. I don't use a lot of hand lotion. I have been starting to put it on in the morning though because my hands have been so like crusty. But uh, <laughs> I took a pumice stone. People recommended taking pumice to your hands if you get the cracks and dirt in between them. So I take the pumice stone now and. And also, okay, if you stitch on black, you're all good. So come on yeah, over and stitch it. on black. <laughs> Dana, what's your best selling chart? I looked it up on Etsy last night. That won't tell me like shops wise, but on Etsy it was um, Gingham Greetings, which I thought was surprising to me. But that's the truck with the gingham tree, super cute that we did for mm -hmm. ornament. Yeah, an ornament. I have a feeling it would be Home is Where the Reef is. Mm -hmm. That one has been really popular, yes. But we've had a lot of really popular ones like that like and all a good night america the beautiful so there's a lot of them that have been hey, very popular hey he's just she's just playing with him biting his tail uh and have you considered making a series of full-size christmas stocking patterns um yes i've thought about stockings but they won't be here for this christmas maybe next christmas though joe where do you go to pick strawberries we usually go to Thompson Strawberry Farm, which is the same place where we pick pumpkins, raspberries. We go for the sunflower patch, but they were not open yet, so we went to Stadi's. The strawberries were like pinkish, but they were, uh, they, they did not look right, but they were the sweetest strawberries the I've ever The seeds were really protruded like a wild strawberry kind, so they, yeah. they just had different kinds. Um, the day after we went there, they put up a post saying, we're closed, we were picked out yesterday. So it was good that we were able to mm -hmm. get it in while we did. And they had um, sugar snap peas too that we you could add those to your bucket. So we picked those and we ate those. The, the kids loved strawberry picking though. They thought we were going to take them from them. They just hoarded them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, Julie, have you sprinkle tried sprinkling blood meal around the plants the rabbits are eating? No. With dogs, it's hard because then they get into it too. Something um, has already been in my big raised beds. I don't know if it's like rodents or birds, but there was areas where you could tell that it had been ruffled up. So Nothing's eaten? Nothing's eaten, but That's good. I'm going to kill something if it's... <laughs> a different channel we'd get flagged on here and it's not a person we have to preface that all right it, it, it is they better watch out um stella priscilla which is your favorite beverage from starbucks do you buy coffee or other drinks hi i don't do coffee i used to do the mocha frappuccino and then i got sick of it and i didn't go to starbucks for a long time and then well, when we travel, I can get my hot tea there because I'm picky about my hot tea. So I could get that there. 
but I like the iced chai latte. And I went through a period last year where I couldn't even drink it. So mm -hmm. now I'm back. How's your twinnings English breakfast tea going? It's fine. <laughs> I couldn't find my normal Tazo English breakfast, so I had to buy twinnings. And it's it might be a little bit weaker, but I'm making It'll do. do. Two tea bags. Just put two tea bags in there. Yes, I will. I will rub you. <laughs> um, Esther. Okay, a lot of people put this in there, and I didn't actually know it was a thing. Uh, they said I'm too young to take it, but Prevagen. They said it's good, and you can definitely. They said, but expensive. Um, you can definitely tell when you stop taking it for memory loss. Wow. Um, I don't think I have that problem. I remember. I do have you remember a lot, and you always have me. I couldn't tell you what I did two days ago. But I don't. Um, but the, my worst problem is I don't remember people's names. I remember everything else, but I don't remember what people's they wear, names. What they work for. Yeah, where, where I met them. <laughs> yes. You know. Where they were sitting, if they were at a retreat. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is funny to me. Rocky, have you been aware of the so-called bear sightings near you? Keep an eye on your kids and animals. Is that, that part's not funny, <laughs> but the um, bear sighting, it was like every post in my Facebook feed was the bear at Gurney Mills. Like there was a bear just running around. And I don't know if it is from the Canadian wildfires that wildlife is being forced. Yeah, but how did that south? bear get like, from Gurney Mills all the way over to like Fox Lake? It was an Antioch. Yeah, it but it's an, almost a Fox Lake. And then in Antioch, yesterday on my Facebook page, there houses a, were being evacuated because, because there, was there was a, a missile. World War II bomb in the yard. Uh, like a missile yeah. dug up. Like only in Antioch. Okay. <laughs> Um, all right, then Deborah, is your new tag metal? No, it's enamel. Yes, it's metal. Oh. Oh. It's metal. Oh, well, enamel. <laughs> um, super cute. I have it on all my keychain. I have it on everything. Everything. Yeah, the, the brothers all have them on their keychains. <laughs> hey, stop doing that. Thank you. That's her toy. Okay. Um, Maggie, how many charts are in Honeytown? There's four. Yes. Uh, each of our dapper doodads, when we do the cities, we do four. Mm -hmm. I do want to um, just interject that the dapper do the dapper doodad this week, it of course includes the letters, and in there is a note about how many S's you need to do, how many because it's duplicate uh, letters this mm -hmm. this month, this series. Sharon, yesterday I put all four of them together on one piece and just looked at it on <laughs> the computer, and oh my gosh, it's really just so cute. Um, sharing. Are any of you doing it on one piece? If you are, let us know. That's the idea. And show <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Sharon, um, she's the same way about perennials. So can you list what's in your gardens that are season long bloomers? Um, I do Russian sage. I do nepeta. Of course, hydrangeas. Oh my goodness. Coneflowers you used to my, do a lot of. I have coneflowers. I have black eyed Susans. I have, um, Dahlias, which I guess you can consider a perennial if you dig them up. Um, Sit down. For the love of God, she's answering a question. Just let her do it. Shoot, what else do I have? Oh, I have some of those. They're peach-colored mums. I got them from my brother-in-law and sister-in-law in Connecticut um, like a long time ago. And I used to have a ton more, but somehow they've like gone a little bit missing. I don't know why, but... Sedum. Yeah, I have some sedum. I don't really like it, though. Um, I do have some of that regular sage. What's that stuff called? The purple stuff? The dark salvia? purple? Yeah, salvia. It's okay, but it doesn't really bloom a whole lot when you do it the second time. Um, I have some hollyhocks that have come back, and I've planted a bunch more, so I'm hoping that those come back. Oh, man. I can't think of anything else. Hydrangeas. I mean, hostas obviously are all season long, but she doesn't do a lot of hostas. Those are just kind of in the front. I used the... to have a lot, and then I think I might even dig out my front ones because they draw in a lot of snails and slugs, and it's hard to. Oh my goodness! <laughs> it's hard to. Um, then they start eating my hydrangea leaves because they get lower, and it's just a pain. So I might take out the hostess. I haven't decided yet. Okay. Have you fertilized? Not yet. I, I fertilized have not. yesterday. I have not. I fertilized yesterday. Some of my baskets are looking kind of eh. 
Um, Maya said, thanks for the fertilizer advice. How often do you apply the fish emulsion? I looked on the bottle yet yesterday. It says th every three weeks. Um, I just I looked on the bottle yesterday because I had to mix it in a big... And I down. think if it rains a really lot, you should probably do it more often than that because they suggest that like with any of the fertilizers that you put like on your annuals because the rain just washes all your your stuff away. Nutrients? Yep. If you're in raised beds, if you're in the ground, then you're okay. Sandra, I got the window display for Candy Cane Lane. Are you going to have other patterns to switch out the uh, uh, switch out on the window display? So I glued mine down. Um, there might be other charts that come, but for right now. Um, also, you did the finishing for Stitch Quarterly? No. Or no? Okay. They, they sent an email asking about that frame and how to pop off an embellishment. How would you typically pop off an embellishment on a frame? I usually use my scissors and just get underneath it and pry it off. So prying it off and then clipping whatever I don't, I don't even know what. It was a beachy frame. Beachy. Yeah, but I didn't, I didn't do that one. Okay, that's all I have for the questions today. You, ma'am. You. So, you know, next month we're starting with our new series, the monthly weigh-in, and I have finished stitching it, and the finishing piece is supposed to be here today. It is so cute. I cannot wait for you to see it, and it's going to have interchangeable parts for each month, and you guys are going to love it. So what I'm going to do is when I get the finishing piece, I'm going to take a picture and I'm going to put it on Instagram and Facebook and maybe do a blog post right then so that you can see, you know, the first one and be excited for what you're going to get next month. Okay. Can you show them what we didn't show them last week? What do you mean? The red, white, and blue. Oh, we got to show this week's and then we'll show them last week's as being held hostage. This is Red, White, and Boom. You saw a photo of it at the end of the video. This is the fireworks stand by Paisley's and Polka Dots. Uh, super cute. Chelsea's checks. That is Lori Holt uh, vintage trim in there. And then Stitching with the Housewives ribbon. The Stitching Stripes is on the covered button. Then this week we have Stars and Stripes. And it was so appropriate because it came out on Flag Day. Yes. And this pedestal, so the flags are, or the stars are embedded into the pedestal. Super cute. Also, polka dots. Mm -hmm. And then and I switched everything out. It's all patriotic. I, I was like, oh my goodness, it's almost the 4th of July. And I need to get my rear end gear. <laughs> yeah. I it just seems so, cups. so, um. Like it just was June first, and now it's not. Yeah, summer's almost over. You got you too. They <laughs> both need a muscle today. And then we have the Stars and Stripes Street. So we're on number three for that. Did I bring them? Hey, where would they be? Oh no, I had them in my mudroom. <laughs> So the first one was the flag store. And then we had the city hall. I'll hold it. And then this week we have the ice cream parlor. So ice cream shop, super cute. You can see it on the back of the chart, all three of them strung together. So if you wanted to see that before you started them. Um, Paisley's and Polka Dots, Patriotic House. Then you have Priscilla's Pretty Plaid, Stitching Stripes, Chelsea's Checks, and of course, the stitching with housewives ribbon. Yep. So that's the dapper doodads for this month. Perfect for the red, white, and June stitch along if you're doing that. All right. So I'm gonna show my whips. Oh. First of all, I'm gonna show show you this one, and that's gonna be the question for today. Can you guess what it is? Yes, I can. I looked at it yesterday. <laughs> Would you know what it was though if you didn't see that? Yeah. This is my whip. I can't show you what it is. Sorry. I right. can tell and you that I have to stitch a there's lot slower. There's the monthly weigh in. Isn't the scale cute? It is cute. And this is the small that comes with it. So I will have this all finished and it will be on probably later today or so maybe Sunday I'll put it. 
online so you can see it. I'm excited for it. Then, um, whoops, did you get any haul? No. Did you order that fabric? No. I the only thing I ordered was ribbon and I need to order sticky board. I need to order other ribbons and I need to order floss. I was like digging for scraps of ribbon red. If you haven't seen um, Greenstock's website, they mm -hmm. are having a sale right now. We might Only on the blue one. Right. The it's a I new think it's color. a I don't know if it's a new color or if they're bringing no, the color, color back. It's a new color. Oh, it's really pretty. It's blue. Yeah. So we might be getting and some I, of those. I looked at it. and I was like, oh my gosh, I want that. And then I, uh, <laughs> I just it's, finally got my second one planted up. They are looking so perfect, though. They're doing so, good. Yeah. Yeah. What'd you say you put on the tap? Gumfrina and Alyssum. Oh, that'll be pretty. All right, we did have giveaways for last week. I planted week. a bunch more dahlias yesterday. Oh, and we have new stuff from Fat Quarter Shop. New charts at Fat Quarter Shop is May Stackables. And uh, in the Chicken Club, this is Hank. Hank, Hank, Hank. Gosh, my fingernails are dirty. I swear I showered. Um, I did get two cards about Ronnie. Can you just read the Jan? Yes. Oh, Jan, you have very pretty handwriting. And Annie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, I still have not gone through and read all the comments on my Instagram or Facebook or even the YouTube videos about Ronnie, and it's still makes me very sad. So hopefully I'll get to the point where I can just be like, yep, yeah, it was good. No, it's hard. Uh, okay, we had some giveaways last week. So the first one is Red, White, and Boom. This is a PDF, so if you win it, you just email me your email address that you won, what you won. Be before we do that, can, or I, I wanted to show these. Go ahead, we'll, yeah, previous we'll finishes. Wait. No, previous finishes. This has always been one of my favorites. Red, white, and blue. This is a tear tray tidbit. And it's on one of those blocks from Michael's. This is uh, Land That I Love. And that was on a paddle from Scarlet Sky Designs. Yes. TX. Yep. And How's then this is a block from does Michael's. Does you that you have to eat your foot? She always does that when she's sitting in this bed, like, to get attention. This is the, she looks like the hyenas in The Lion King, just gnawing on bones in the cave. <laughs> this is a What's in My Cup, 4th of July. Super cute. Okay, this needs to go over here because I need this for, but these are giveaways today. Yeah. These will be featured in a minute. Applause. Yeah. Uh, the... The numbers we did keep on track, but they were a mess last week. So we're going to do a better job this week. Uh, but number one to win Red, White, and Boom is Karen Martin, Ann Shaw, and Hank Kistler. Then we had the City Hall Stars and Stripes Street 2. This goes to Karen Basham, Susan K-A, and Lark Millicits. Did you watch that show on... Um, Prime yet? No. I think it's called Shining Happy People. Shiny Happy People? Shiny, something like that. It's um about the Duggars. Did you watch that movie? Missing? Mm -hmm. I watched Missing, yes. Missing, I, so Did I... Did you like it? Yes, it was, the ending was good, but it, I couldn't watch it while I stitched. I had to watch it. Was it was weird, wasn't it? Yes. I had to watch it while it was like 10 o'clock at night and we put it on. Um, because there's a lot on the screen that you have to read because she's doing like text messaging and stuff. What other movie did I watch? I can't remember. Um, it'll come. Did to you me. watch the reunion? No. Remember I canceled my like actual TV so I can only watch stuff that's on Hulu, Netflix, Prime. Um, no, we, but you can watch that on Peacock. Oh, do I have that? Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. Um, uh, from Fabric Flare, we got some... I heard it was good, the reunion, but I hear that there's just a lot of drama coming out. Lily's not yet out of her cake. Uh, Granny Smith died, Ada. This goes to Gina Granderson, Kim Watts, and Marge Spagnolo. So make sure that you um, 
put in your physical address because I got to send it to you guys. Then we have the This Is My Country. This is my country. This is a Dapper Doodad, so four by four. Um, it's a PDF. That was one of JoJo's favorites. She carried it around oh, all weekend. And her favorite thing are the vintage chickens. She, I was like, not the vintage ones, but she was very careful with them. She didn't break anything and the bees. She liked um, and the, the strawberry chickens. The strawberry pillows. She ended up taking one home. Oh. <laughs> um, I hope they get her some sulky chickens. Uh, this is my country. It goes to Mira Hinson, Susan Lopiano, and Jennifer A. Then we had Freedom Farm. This is another one of those stars from Michaels. Kathy Harris, Nancy Bott, and Don Jones. Then from the Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher Magazine, Careful originally, this is um, Bucket Brigade, 4th of July. It's available as a PDF now. Did you order this or is this like a slate gray? Hey, um, no. Suzak 2, Barbara Chase, and Tammy Harder. Then hey. from Penny and Tunny, we had some beautiful patriotic bags. These go to Kristen Showalter, Bethany Kay, and Sharon Wolfgang. Then we had the Star Spangled Ornament uh, bundle. So you get the pattern, you get the floss, you get the bag. And yeah, floss, pattern, bag. From Fat Quarter Shop, thank you, Kimberly and team. That goes to Connie Hart, Lori Winburn, and Jessa Light. Then from Soulful Creations, we had the acrylic floss holders. And this goes to Roberta Creed, Sherry Brooks, Christy Shepherds, Valerie Smith, and Lisa McCarthy. And then Stitch Quarterly, Super Cute Bag, Amy0667. And last but not least from Pet Quarter Shop, we have the um, Bougie Floss. This goes to Linda Meeks and Pity Pat 50. So two of these. Hey. Email me what you want. If your uh, YouTube name is different than your actual name, make sure you include both so I can mark you off my list, etc. cetera. Okay, okay, so in the beginning of the month, we forgot to do the tidbit to da and the Housewives Hurrah in our Stitching with Housewives group. Because it's still June 1st. <laughs> so this week we're going to do both of them. Or no, let's just do one. Let's do the... Let's see your, your, your patriotic stitching displays with the Housewives or strawberry stitching displays yeah. with Housewives charts. Show us your tiered trays or just a display area that you have. And tag it, tidbit ta da, mm -hmm. in our Stitching with the Housewives group on Facebook. Yes. And next week we'll do the Housewives Hurrah. This week for giveaways, the first one is three opportunities to win Stars and Stripes. Number two is three opportunities to win Stars and Stripes Street 3, the ice cream shop. That's number two. Number three is three opportunities to win land that I love. Number four is three opportunities to win red, white, and blue. Number five, three opportunities to win 4th of July. Number six, three opportunities to win Piper. Nobody will enter. <laughs> <laughs> Number six is three opportunities to win uh, the Chicken Club Hank. <laughs> Number seven, three opportunities to win the May Stackables. Number eight is five opportunities to win an enamel charm and paper chart of your choice. Number nine, a Halloween-themed mystery, stitch, mystery along. stitch along. You get the fabric, which is really pretty. The floss, 
and floss rings, floss uh, biddies, I think that they are called. Enamel charm, enamel needle minder. So you and that's from Fat Quarter Shop, and I think that that charts, you get them by email when you sign up for it. Three opportunities to win that number. So those are the giveaways. That number? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 <laughs> yep, that number. I had already said it. I said it when I first started explaining it. Um, the question you heard earlier, and then you're going to list out the numbers. Guess what it is? List out the numbers you're interested in. Like the video. Be subscriber. Don't say free. Don't say giveaway. Mm -hmm. um, anyone can enter. Even if you won last week, enter again. It's random. Don't forget to do the tidbit to dot in our Stitching with the Housewives yep. group. And follow us on Instagram at Priscilla Blaine at Chelsea356, Priscilla's2000 on Facebook, and Priscilla's2000.blogspot.com. And make sure you watch for the monthly weigh-in. It's going to be just amazing. Super cute. Mm -hmm. If you are coming to the Indiana retreat, make sure you have your stitching done. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. You don't have it, but you should. Make sure you get it done. It's your homework. <laughs> uh, we can't wait to see you there, though. Yes. So we, our next week's video will be from there. Yes, it yep. will be. It's next week. <laughs> yep. All right, guys. We appreciate you spending your time with us. Yes. If you get your finishing inspiration from us, tag us, tag my blog. We'd love to see your projects. <laughs> this won't leave you alone. Presley. Tag us, tag your blog. Yeah. We'd, we'd love, love to, to see, see it. your projects. And I think that that's it. I have a really cute idea for another contest. I want to do a cross stitch pageant. What? Yeah. You know how they do online uh, pageants? It's going to be like a beauty pageant with people's finishing. Cross stitch pageant. Oh. And we'll crown a cross stitch queen. Oh. All right. Well, we hope to see you next week at the retreat. If not, we'll see you here on YouTube. Thank you for spending your time with us. We'll see you next week. Bye.